Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the traditional granny square. Now there's two main options for the granny square um, and I'm going to be showing you both. Today I'm going to be showing you the um, the basic traditional granny square um, and then in the next tutorial I will show you a bit of a different take on it. So as you can see with the traditional granny square it does tend to curl at the edges um, this is perfectly fine and it will straighten out if you're doing lots of granny squares to join together um, to make a big blanket, um, they, they will flatten out so you, you don't need to worry about that. It also has a defined front and back, so with the front the stitches are very defined and clear um, and on the back they're not as defined so you can tell the difference between the front and the back. With option B, if you can see here, it actually stays flat. This is due to the fact that after every row, you actually turn your work over um, and it, it keeps it flat and it keeps it from twisting. Uh, the great thing about this way of doing the grain square is there isn't a front and a back. Um, they both look exactly the same because you've turned your work after every row. So this is my favourite way of doing the granny square um, it's much better for if you're doing a large granny square to make into a blanket just one single large granny square because it doesn't it doesn't twist it doesn't curl up at the edges um, and in my opinion it's much easier to make so I will show you this technique in the next tutorial so you want to take your selected yarn today I'm going to be using Stylecraft Special DK um, and your selected hook. Stylecraft Special DK requires a 4mm hook but I will actually be using a 4.5mm hook just so that we can see the, the stitches a little more clearly. So you want to go ahead and make your slip knot in whichever way you choose. I do have um, a video on this if you're not 100% sure and I will link it just above. So we want to go ahead and chain 5. So 1, 2, three, four, five. We now need to make our foundation chain into a circle. So we go back and we find our first chain that we made and we insert our hook into that chain. You will have two loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's a slip stitch. You will then see that you have formed a circle. We're going to be working directly into the middle of that circle for our round one. So for the granny square the only stitches we require are the chain stitch and the treble crochet. With regards to the treble crochet if you're not familiar with that yet um, I do have a video I'll link it just above um, if you want to go and practice that first and then come back to this. So to make our first treble crochet, we just need to chain three. So one, two, three. We're then going to form our first cluster of three treble crochets. So if you look at the granny square, each of the stitches is made up of three treble crochet. So each group of three treble crochet is a cluster of three. So we're just going to continue to make clusters of three. So to make our cluster, we've chained three for our first. We need to yarn over and insert into the hole in the middle. Yarn over, pull through. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our first cluster of three. We now need to make a corner. In order to do that we need to chain two. So one, two. We then need to make another cluster of three straight into that middle section. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, 
yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one more, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you notice with the tail end of the yarn, I'm just keeping it close and working around it. This will stop the need for um, sewing it in at the end. So we've now done two clusters and we need to make a third. So to make the corner, we need to chain two, one, two. We now need to make our third cluster. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's another three. Now making another corner and our final cluster of three. So chain two for the corner. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And two more. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. One more. We now need to make our final corner, chain two, and then we need to join our square. So in this very first chain three from the beginning, you need to count three stitches from the bottom. So if you just turn it to the side, you will see the Vs. So we need to count up three Vs, one, two, three, and insert our hook straight into the top of that stitch. You will have two loops on your hook. You now need to do a slip stitch to connect it. So we yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So that is round one. You will see we've got a side, a corner, a side, a corner, side, a corner, side, a corner. So for round two, we need to make our way over to this very first corner stitch. So in order to do that, we need to chain three, one, two, three, and then we need to work a cluster of three trebles into this corner space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, And one more. And that's your first cluster of three. So because this is a corner space, we need to make our corner by chaining two. One, two. And then we need to work straight back into that very same corner space with another cluster of three trebles. So yarn over, insert back into the same space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two more. One, two, and that's our corner space made. So we now go over to our next corner space by going straight into that corner space with a cluster of three trebles. So yarn over, insert straight into the corner space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two more. One, two, and it's a corner space, so we're going to make a corner by chaining two, one, two, 
and then going straight back into that same corner space with another cluster of three trebles. So one, two, three. The next corner space, straight in with three trebles. One, two, three. Form your corner with chain two. And then another cluster of three straight back into that very same corner space. One, two, three. The next corner space, straight in with three trebles. One, two, three. Form your corner by chaining two, one, two. Now, at this point, you will see that we've already got a treble in this corner from when we started the row, from the chain three at the beginning of this round. So, because we've already got one, we only need to do two more. So, one, two, and then we're going to join this round by joining in the third stitch from the bottom on this first original chain three. So one, two, three V's up, insert your hook and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. If it comes out like that, just pull it slightly and you will be left with your original loop so if you just put your hook back in and try again insert your hook yarn over pull through both loops on the hook and that is your round two so you can see now from this point that it's starting to make a square and you can clearly see which are your corner stitches so on every straight so every edge we're going straight into the gap and doing a cluster of three treble crochets and in each corner we're doing a cluster of three chaining two for the corner and another cluster of three straight back in to that same corner space and then rules apply for every single row no matter how big you want to do your granny square then rules apply so for round three you need to chain three one two three and then we are doing our cluster straight back into this space here. So we've got one treble, two trebles, three trebles, and that's our cluster of three for this space. We're now in this corner, so we're going to go straight in with a cluster of three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two more, one, two, and it's a corner space so we chain two, and then straight back into that very same corner space with our second cluster of three, one, two, we're on a straight edge so straight into this space here with a cluster of three one two three and now we're hitting another corner so straight in with three one two three, chain two for your corner and another cluster of three straight back into that same corner space. One, 
two, three. So if you want to pause the video here and make your way around, just remember on the edges we'll straight in with a cluster of three and on the edges cluster of three, chain two, cluster of three. So make your way back around and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back around and we're now ready to join this row. So the same rules apply, three V's from the bottom, one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that stitch and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And that is round three completed. So round four is like round two. We need to start off with a chain three, one, two, three, and then we need to do our first set of treble crochet into this next stitch along. So we need to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two more. One, two. We're then moving over into our first corner space. So one cluster of three, one, two, three, chain two for the corner and another cluster of three straight back into that very same corner space, two, three. We're working on an edge now so straight into that next space with a cluster of three, one, two, Three. and again into the next space we're still on an edge so straight in with a cluster of three one two three and then you reach your corner so a cluster of three chain two cluster of three and then move on to your next space so if you want to pause the video here and make your way back around and I'll meet you back at this last corner just here. So I've made my way back around and I've come to the final space. So as with row two we've already got a chain three from the beginning of the round um, that's acting as our last treble crochet for this space so we only need to do two trebles into this space. So going to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more. And then this initial chain three is going to act as our third. So same rules apply. Three chains from the bottom. One, two, three. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook to attach. And that is round four completed. So round five is the same as round three. So a granny square is a two row repeat. So every other row starts and finishes the same way. Um, so like I say, we're on round five and we're doing the same as we did for round three. So we're already in a space. So we need to do our first cluster of three straight into that space there. So chain three, one, two, three, and then two more trebles straight in to that space, two, three. That's our first cluster. So we move on to this next space by going straight in with a cluster of three trebles, two, three, and then our corner space, cluster of three, one, two, three, chain two to form our corner and another cluster of three straight back in to that very same corner space, two, three, 
three. We're back on a straight, so into the very next space, a cluster of three. One, two, three. And again into the next space. So if you want to pause the video here and just make your way all the way back round and I will meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join up this final round. So three chains from the bottom, one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. And that is round five of your granny square. So to finish off your granny square, all you need to do is chain one, take your scissors, snip your yarn just here, and then pull out your hook, and just pull tight to secure. And there you have your granny square. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click the bell button uh, to be notified when a new video has been uploaded. Thanks guys, see you next time. Bye bye.